All right, guys. You you want to know what's way better than Blanton's? New Riff single barrel. Now, of course, if you want to impress your friends with a super expensive bottle that's shaped in the shape of a grenade and it just tastes exclusive or fancy because hey, it was hard to get, then yes, get the Blanton's. But if you only care about the juice inside, the bourbon, you want to get this, the New Riff single barrel. Now the mash bills are slightly different. Uh, Blanton's is called something a high rye. Uh, mash bill is not really published by Buffalo Trace, but it's estimated to be around 15% rye. This stuff is, is a true high rye, and it is 30% rye. So there's, and then there's also a proof difference. Uh, because this is a, this is a um, barrel proof, it's uh, it's higher proof than Blanton's, but it could be, you know, if you pour a little bit of water in this, you can proof it down a little bit and it will become just as soft if you want to, if you want to enjoy it a little softer. Um, now, of course, New Riff has their basic bourbon, uh, Bottle and Bond. And when I was on the tour, they just told me that, hey, like all the, like all the so-so barrels, just go, just get mixed up and go to the Bottle and Bond, uh, you know, to, get, to go to the, that program. Now, the master distiller selects, or some people, so uh, you know, on their uh, on their team, selects, uh, you know, like a higher end uh, barrel, and then that goes to their uh, single barrel program, which is like a, an upgrade. And then, if you really, really want to get the good stuff, go to their gift shop at their distillery. That's where the master distiller uh, selects their stuff for guests to enjoy. I think usually if you go to the, uh, the lobby, they have two to three different options to choose from. Um, and then also as a helpful hint, the guy, when I was went there on a tour, uh, the tour guide said that he noticed that the be absolute best uh, bottles, the, the, the most delicious ones, are 115 proof. So this one is a 100, uh, 112.5 proof so the more you get to the 115 if you see it at the if you let's say if you can't make it to the distillery you just see um, you see um, these bottles in the wild at the store we'll try to get as close to 115 proof as you can um, most likely you will have a good bottle now this one has it because I got it from the uh, I got it from the distillery it has a cheat sheet uh, as far as notes uh, it says aromas of sweet apricot, raisin, and vanilla, custard, followed by flavors of oak, blueberries, maple syrup, brown sugar, and caramel with a warming spice on the finish. Um, and this bottle is 14446. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of them from the like, especially if you get them from the gift shop, or another one if you get a, a special uh, store select. I'm sure all of those are amazing because it's it's been through so many selections. Yeah, uh, if you, they go to the, um, the distillery and then do a barrel pick, well, that's master distiller already selects five or six barrels for them to choose from. And if the group that's picking, you know, they pick the best one, so you're gonna have a really nice, high grade, um, awesome tasting bourbon. That's I guarantee it. If you do this blind. Like a, as a, like a completely blind test against Blanton's and you proof this down a little bit to more what Blanton's proof is, this is always going to come up on t uh, out on top. And you, as you can see, bottle is almost empty. It's that good. And you have to go and restock. But let's get into it. Nose is very, very rye forward, a little floral. Wow, this is like a butterscotch bomb. Tastes great. Not a single bad note. This stuff is great. You really, I'm the only downside with this new riff. It's a relatively new distillery. So it's not completely everywhere. Maybe some states don't have it, but if this stuff is in the store, get it, definitely. You're gonna love it.
Yeah, great. Nothing but butterscotch, little barrel spice, vanilla. Overall amazing and I'd definitely have this over blends any day. Cheers.